This short video presents the benefits obtained from a CBCT scan. CBCT stands for Cone Beam Computed Tomography. Essentially, the CBCT gives the dentist views of the tooth and surrounding tooth structures in three planes. The histogram in the lower right box controls the brightness and contrast. Once optimized, the images are dynamic, meaning there are a whole series of them that can be viewed as you travel through any plane. We are first looking at the coronal apical cross sections as seen in the upper right box. Moving the red horizontal bar up and down determines the level of the cross section viewed. By placing the vertical green bar next to the tooth you wish to view in the coronal apical plane assures well-centered positioning. Please note the external resorption in the left maxillary incisor when scanning in the coronal apical plane. To gain buccolingual images, guide the horizontal green bar through the body of the tooth and view the images generated in the lower left box. Again, please note that the mesiodistal scan of the left central incisor clearly confirms and more accurately demonstrates the extent of external root resorption present. In this second CBCT, we are looking at the mandibular premolar area. Movement of the vertical green bar produces a series of images traveling through the buccolingual plane. We can more clearly see the periapical bone loss associated with the first bicuspid, but careful observation of the second bicuspid shows what appears to be a second undiscovered canal. However, when we travel through the coronal apical plane using the horizontal red bar, we clearly observe a lingual fracture on the second bicuspid. The CBCT gives us the tools to examine the teeth and supporting structures in three planes. In the case of the lower bicuspid, the buccolingual views gave the impression of a missed canal. When viewed coronal apically, however, we clearly saw a vertical fracture. The view of the tooth and supporting structures as well as the extent of bone loss are better evaluated when viewed in three independent planes.